guys welcome back to my channel my name is becca and welcome to what is in my baby's hospital bag i am so excited to do this video it's one of the most exciting videos to do before baby arrives outside of like the nursery tour maybe um if you don't know i am pregnant currently with a baby girl named adeline i already have a son named hayes who is one and a half and i just share a bunch of motherhood content here so be sure to subscribe for more also head over down below to my other socials i'm really active on instagram and i'm trying to be active on tiktok as well so catch up with me over there and we can actually chat but yeah, um, I was going to film this in the nursery to kind of be like a sneak peek into the nursery, but uh, my son is actually taking a very short, not very good nap in his bedroom and I don't want to wake him up or make him angry by talking in the bedroom next door. So we're in my bed instead, which isn't even made, but it's okay. I'm pregnant. Whatever. So... <laughs> Now I have had a child before, so that definitely I think impacts what I'm taking to the hospital because I think I'm being pretty minimal. I know what the hospital gives me, so it's allowing me to kind of play off of that. You know that the hospital is going to give you, um, you know, diapers and wipes and a lot of necessities. So I'm able to pack a lot more light, I think. Um, stay tuned though, I will be doing a what's in my hospital bag. It is nowhere near ready, but in the next couple of weeks here it should be. So I will be doing that as well. And that is also based off of my first labor and delivery, what I needed. Um, but yeah, let's get into it. First item I have in baby Adeline's hospital bag is her little announcement plate, whatever you want to call it. It just says, hello world. It has the name, date, height, and weight. And this is just for like the birth announcement photos, but got that, which I will need to remember to throw in some sort of writing utensil. I also have some spray hand sanitizer um unscented of course but I can't remember if I brought this with Hayes and honestly I don't know if I truly felt like I needed it but I am someone who doesn't love germs I know that we probably won't be able to have a lot of visitors if any just depending on this pandemic um so it'll only really be for me and my husband but we will use it after that, I have a couple of different swaddle options and I do have a couple of different options of things and it's really just for the sake of, I don't know what she's going to look like and I'm one of those people that wants to kind of, when I take all my announcement pictures and stuff, I want it to be like her color that she's wearing. I'm just that person. Um, so the first one I have is more so for um, actual like necessity and that is the Ollie swaddle. If you haven't heard of these, it's just a swaddle that is like a Velcro swaddle, but it just makes it really easy. And a lot of newborns sleep really well in this. So this is actually gonna be for like, actually to help her sleep and be comfortable, of course. So we have that one and then these are just pretty ones, which also, um, she's not likely to spit up a ton in the hospital because in my experience, babies don't eat a lot in the hospital, but I do use my swaddles as burp cloths for the record. So this isn't like a total like waste bringing a ton because I will use them for other purposes. Um, but I have just a little floral swaddle here. I have this purple swaddle and then I have this pretty pink lamb swaddle and these will be literally for swaddling her, for using as a burp cloth, for maybe covering her up if I think she's cold, literally for whatever. And also of course it gives me a couple different options for like when I take all of my different newborn photos and stuff. After that, going along with the whole like newborn photo aspect, we have a couple of different like cute bow options and stuff that'll go with some of the footies and some of the swaddles and stuff like that. So I just have a little blue bow, a little white bow, this little purple bow, and then these two little hats, which one is a knot turban and one is a bow turban so super simple and nothing insane but just so i can put that on instead of like just the typical hospital hat i like to be able to put something cute on um that'll still be comfortable these are like super 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 soft and stretchy and comfortable and then the bows will probably just be for like the actual photo she's not going to wear that all the time obviously 
Then I have just one pair of socks and one little set of baby mittens. This is just in case for any reason on her feet are cold and then for the mittens of course I do think they're really good in those early days because a lot of times babies come out with kind of long nails from the get-go and it is not it's not fun to cut those tiny little nails so both of those I think are really good options to have after that we have the hatch rest mini sound machine which I think this is actually going to end up in my toddler's room because he has the rest which actually has a night light and I think I'm gonna put that in my room that way when I'm nursing her at night, I can use the nightlight aspect because he doesn't use it. So I think it's gonna switch once we come home, but I do think that it could be really helpful in the hospital, not only for baby, but really for me as well to have a sound machine just for a little bit of extra noise. Um, that's like a good kind of extra noise if that makes sense so I actually think like a portable sound machine is a really good idea to have in the hospital that I wish I had last time. I did pack a nursing cover which I will only end up using if we're like allowed visitors and stuff because obviously if it's just me and my husband I'm not gonna care. Um, I don't think we'll be allowed visitors but you know I was like okay just in case I'll bring the nursing cover because you never know. I'm one of those people that likes to use them. Um, they will give you pacifiers in the hospital, but I did bring or pack two different versions of this Ryan and Rose pacifier and then the regular old Wubbanub, which I think they do. I do think they do the Avent pacifiers in the hospital if I'm thinking right. Um, they do give your baby one usually, but just to have some because I really need her to take a pacifier because my son did not. And then we're just down to the clothing. So I have a coming home outfit, which I don't know if she'll wear it or not. Um, with my son, he wore a sleeper home, so I don't know if she'll wear her cute little coming home outfit, but I do have these cute little jeans and this little like frilly pink top so if she happens to wear it she wears it if not she'll come home in a little sleeper but if we have anyone at our house uh waiting to meet her maybe i'll put her in that so she'll be in like a really cute outfit um and then i just have a bunch of footies and i do have quite a bit and it's really because with Hayes, we were in the hospital um i gave birth to him on a thursday night we were in the hospital Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, and then we were released Monday around like noon. So that's like over a three, that's like a three and a half day stay for him once he was born. So I don't know how much clothes I will need for this baby because hopefully we're not in there nearly that long this time, but I want to be prepared. So these are mainly all Kite Baby Bamboo. Um, onesies but i have this pretty blue one which i do have a bow that matches it and um, we have a couple different colors we have this color which i do have a matching lounge dress in this color so i'll probably bring that to the hospital to be cute um we have this green one which my son has um a pajama in this color so i also think that's cute that they could match maybe um like when she comes home of course we have this one and then we have this one. So there's five in total, which hopefully will not all be needed, of course, but just to be prepared since we were in the hospital with my son a lot longer than we really expected. I was hoping to be home within like 24 hours and it ended up being over three days. So <laughs> the last items I have are not in the bag, but they are baby items that are coming. So I will, put all this stuff away quick and show you guys. All right, so the items that can't really fit into the bag that are going, one is this Serenoni blanket. It is a receiving size blanket, so it's just perfect for a baby. Um, if we're cold at all, this will be kind of for her just to wrap up in and stay warm while we're just kind of hanging out doing skin to skin and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Hayes was a very cold baby when he was first born. He had trouble regulating his body temperature, so I think this is super soft and I mean, we'll use it. So I think having your own blankets is so important. I plan on bringing one for myself as well. After that, we have my boppy pillow, which um, with Hayes, I really wish that I had something that could really help me. My dog is making that noise, if you hear that grunting. Um, 
I really wish that I had something for breastfeeding to make it easier and to make myself more comfortable. It was it was really hard with my first. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna bring my own boppy. That way I have something that I feel like is helping me be supported and supporting the baby and just making that whole transition a lot easier. And going with that, with my son in the hospital, I had a lot of injuries during birth and it was so hard for me to get up and get him out of that dumb cradle that they put them in. And my husband was coming home only for a couple of days for the birth from his army um, OCS training he was at. So he like slept the entire time. I really didn't have a lot of help overnight. So it was so hard to get him out of that cradle. So this time I said, you know what? I'm gonna take my Snuggle Me Organic and I'm gonna put it on that bed with me and my baby is gonna lay in this no matter what anyone says. She's gonna lay right here so that I can get to her and that's gonna be way more comfortable. I do have a cover for it. It's in the wash right now so I need to make sure I put it back onto it but this is gonna make my life so much easier just being able to have her lay right there on the bed with me in this instead of in that cradle because I hated it. All right, you guys, that is it. That is all I have packed for baby Adeline's hospital bag. And honestly, I think it's all I need. So um, if this helped you guys out, let me know. If you have other things that you like to pack, let me know in the comments below. Um, again, make sure to head over to my other socials and chat to me on some other places like Instagram and TikTok. Um, and be sure to subscribe so you don't miss what is in my hospital bag because that will be coming soon as well. So. That is it for this video. I'll see you guys next time.